the battery runs out too quickly, there's nowhere to charge it and it's too expensive. It's been a bumpy start for the all-electric car, with some surveys saying only 5% of drivers are considering switching away from traditional gas guzzlers. Can the electric car overcome these roadblocks? Buckle up, Industrial Revolutions gets behind the wheel. Every day, a thousand more cars join the congested roads of New Delhi, pumping more carbon onto already smoggy streets. Experts warn India could see an extra 140 million vehicles by 2035. So, could the electric car be the solution? E2 is specifically designed for uh, a low cost, uh, but yet uh, not be a boring vehicle. And we have kept the cost under $10,000. Launched a year ago, Mahindra Reva's E20 is one of 10 all-electric models on the global market. It can travel 100 kilometers on a single charge. We keep uh, about 10 kilometers of charge in reserve that the customer cannot uh, automatically use. Uh, when the battery runs out of charge, the customer has to contact the control center and control center will release the last 10 kilometers and thereby you cannot accidentally uh, get stranded on the road. With only 500 E2Os sold so far, it's clear there's a long road ahead to winning over skeptical consumers. But maybe the future isn't an electric one. Maybe the answer comes from the sky. Meet Stella. What makes Stella special is that it's the world's first family car on solar energy. It's a car that actually provides energy uh, instead of just using it. Students at Eindhoven University built the four-seater car to compete in the World Solar Challenge, which they went on to win. With its aerodynamic shape and lightweight, it can travel 400 kilometers on a single charge. But what happens if the sun doesn't shine? It's going to stop Stella when it's cloudy because we have a really large battery in the car. In that sense, you can uh, see it as a normal electric car, but you have the solar panel as a range extender. We saw electric vehicles coming up, which are very practical, but have a limited range. But on the other hand, we saw solar cars, which have a huge range, but are not so practical. So we thought, what if we could combine these two worlds and create this car? So, whether it's electric or solar, the future of transportation looks set to be greener. But with sales of only 400,000 electric vehicles expected this year, the journey to full acceptance looks set to be a long one.